All right, hello, hi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today I want to do a quick little review about the newest theatrical release, The Menu. Now I was really excited for this. I was highly, highly, highly anticipating this one. You know, the shortened version is that it did not disappoint. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, I highly encourage you to check out the Patreon where you can get videos earlier than when I upload them here on YouTube. And you can even join for $1 a month and get access to the Discord where we can talk about latest news and movies and further discussions on my most recent reactions, etc, etc. So if any of that tickles your fancy, link for my Patreon will be in the description below. Okay, so this movie is kind of a dark comedy, thriller, comedy, satirical type of film. And it follows a young couple who go to a remote island to experience the most prestige, lavish restaurant, Hawthorne restaurant, where the chef may take his menu or his love for food a little too far. And that's about all I can tell you in terms of the synopsis. Let me see what the synopsis actually says. This film focuses on a young couple who visits an exclusive destination restaurant on a remote island where the acclaimed chef has prepared a lavish tasting menu along with some shocking surprises. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. First, let me just tell you, this movie was so good. And I'll tell you a little bit more about my rating later on, but right off the bat, I highly recommend this movie. It is done so well. It is the perfect combination of comedical, comedic, comedical, is that a word? Comedy? Whatever. Comedical. It is a perfect combination of that and, you know, it's sprinkled perfectly into the darker moments or the more serious or thrillery esque moments. And it honestly plays really well. There wasn't a single time in the movie where I felt like it was not the right time to make a joke because the tone was still consistent. It wasn't dark, 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 dark. All of a sudden it's a comedy movie. You know what I mean? It felt like a dark kind of tense movie throughout the entire time. And it never broke that even though it was still funny to watch. You know what I mean? And this movie is also the perfect display of love, in this case, the main chef's love for food turning into obsession, ultimately turning into him just losing the joy in something that he once found love in. And I think it's a really great commentary on not only that, but it also does a lot of commentary on classism because it costs, I think it costs like $1,250 per person to eat at this restaurant. So there's definitely some classism into play there. And Anya Taylor-Joy's character does not feel like she belongs in this group because, you know, $1,250 is a lot of money. You know what I mean? She's not like other girls. So yeah, it was definitely very satirical very funny but let me tell you it was shocking so I've been watching some reviews and some people have been saying that it was kind of predictable at some points I didn't really feel like it was super predictable because I wasn't really thinking about what was gonna happen next I mean there were times in the movie where I would turn to my husband I'd be like this is gonna happen. And then I, I would be wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if people were predicting it, you just have a different brain than me. All my predictions were pretty much wrong. With that, there were certain scenes, I will say, where it didn't really lead to anything, where I thought that the scene was gonna be predictable because I was like, okay. I don't think, this isn't really a spoiler. This is in the trailer. And if you don't even wanna know what happens in the trailer, then I encourage you to skip this part. I'll put a time 
timestamp of where you can skip to. But in the trailer, there's a scene where they're all outside and the chef says, all the men can go and escape. We're gonna basically go play hide and seek and you get a 45 second head start and all the rest of the waiters and the chefs are gonna, you know, try to catch you. So that scene comes about. Like, just, let, let's just say it just did not play out how I thought it was going to. It kind of just fell a little flat. That one scene was kind of unnecessary and a lot of it was just the chef's idea of a show. He was trying to be an actor, you know what I mean? The theater. And sometimes it just felt a little flat or just was not necessary. That said and done, I still found it super shocking. There was one scene early on the movie that my mouth was agape for literally it felt like two or three full minutes. I was just so shocked. Like what the hell is going on? So with that, it was suspenseful because you kind of know what's gonna happen because they kind of tell you early on what's gonna happen. A part of me is like, no, but maybe, but no but possibly. So out of five stars, I actually gave this four and a half because of two things. One, there were certain scenes that, like I said, kind of fell a little flat and I felt like if they did something with it or brought it up later or whatever, then it would, it would add to the movie. It definitely would not take away from the movie, but not doing that took away from my experience. And also <laughs> when I was watching this in the theater, I had a very bad movie theater experience and I missed some of the movie because there was a super drunk couple right next to us and the manager had to come up and kick him out and the guy was like getting ready to fight the manager and he was kicking popcorn everywhere. So there was a whole, you know, decent scene chunk of the movie that I missed because that was literally happening right next to me and my husband. So I definitely want to rewatch it. <laughs> Maybe I'll update my score once I rewatch and get those scenes. But for right now, four and a half, that's an amazing score. Four and a half out of five is amazing. I think in terms of out of 10, that would be like a nine out of 10 for me. Yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do. It is so interesting. You will not be bored watching this movie. At any point in time, you will not be bored. The suspense is heightened and the suspense is carried out throughout the entirety of the film. It does not die down for me. I love movies where, you, first of all, unique concept. I love original horror or thriller-esque type of movies because, you know, sometimes it just seems like all we're getting is a bunch of sequels and prequels and whatnot. So it's kind of refreshing to get original horror or original thrillers. And we have been getting a lot of that this year. I can't say, I mean, most of them have been pretty decent. There wasn't any where I was like, I absolutely hate this movie with a passion. So I always will appreciate and tip my hat to original horror concepts. So that also raises the rating for this movie for me. The acting, of course, is also amazing. I heard that apparently Emma Stone was supposed to be the main girl who the role ended up going to Anya Taylor-Joy. And I feel like that was the right decision. Anya Taylor-Joy is really well known for being in horror and thriller movies as is. Whereas Emma Stone, I see more as like in drama or comedies. And although this movie is comical, I feel like it would have taken away from the tone of the movie that they're trying to go, which is tense, <laughs> dark. And it's definitely stayed that the entire way through. So Anya Taylor-Joy was amazing in this. Everyone was amazing in this. I swear like in the theater, at certain scenes, you can hear a pin drop because everyone, well, besides the drunk couple being loud, they were loud pretty much the entirety of the movie. <laughs> but besides them, like everyone was just so glued to the screen. And that's an experience that I really, really, really appreciate. I, appreciate when a movie can make me so invested and so interested in what's gonna happen next. So I highly encourage you to go watch this. It was a great movie. All the reviews that I've been reading have been amazing as well. So you're, you're gonna have a good time seeing this movie. With that said and done, I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially to AJ, Mark Sylvester, and Edward Fisher. 
Thank you so much and go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. All right, so like I said, link for my Patreon will be in the description. Check it out, see what's in store for you with that. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Let me know if you have seen this movie, what you thought about it. If you haven't seen this movie, are you gonna go see it <laughs> now that I told you to? And let me know of any upcoming movies that you want me to check out or that you are particularly interested in. I have a couple in my mind. I mean, there's only barely two months like not even two months left of this year so we're getting close to the end so i want to get a couple of newer releases in and we can tie up the year and get ready for 2023 so let me know if you have any more movie recommendations newer releases coming out thank you for coming along with me on this journey make sure to like comment subscribe do all of that jazz and as always thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.